Hi, I'm Paul Sullenberger. Today we're going to go over the installation for the new Ceramic Suite OSPW for SRAM Axis ETAP Red and Force Derailers. Start with our bike in a stand, go ahead and remove the chain and the rear wheel. Now set aside the chain and you will need a new longer chain for the OSPW install. We'll go ahead and shift the derailleur up to about the midway point and then remove it from the bike altogether. We'll now go ahead and disassemble the stock pulley cage assembly on the derailleur. It's a two and a half millimeter Allen for both the upper and the lower pulley wheels. We'll set these parts aside as they come off and they will not be reused. Now on the back side, utilizing the included special tool, we'll go ahead and loosen but do not remove the mounting bolt. Can be done with a five millimeter hex key. Go ahead and release the spring tension and complete the removal. You will reuse the mounting nut, set aside the stock cage, and you will reuse the spring. We'll remove it for now so we can reset the main mounting post. We'll now unbox the Ceramic Speed OSPW for SRAM access systems. Inside the box, you have the OSPW cage and pulley wheels and the foam, 10 milliliter bottle of pulley wheel oil, a special access mounting tool to remove the cage and install the OSPW cage, sticker sheet, a tension card, and maintenance card for proper installation and care. We'll now go ahead and disassemble the Ceramic Speed OSPW cage, starting with the rotation stop screw, and the two and a half millimeter hex key. And on the back side, both of the pulley mounting bolts and the smaller tower bolts. Set aside the back cage plate, take the upper and lower pulleys off the posts, we're now ready to mount the front cage onto the derailleur body. First, we're gonna go ahead and line up the D shape in the pulley cage with the same D shape inside the derailleur body. We wanna reset the position of the clutch. When these are lined up together, go ahead and wind this to the back. When it's secured all the way, go ahead and set aside the cage. And with the felt tip marker, you want to go ahead and identify that flat edge. I'm going to place a mark here on the rounded face, identifying the edge that's flat. We'll now go ahead and place the spring back into the derailleur body. You can take careful note, there is one recess deeper than all the others, and this is where the spring is going to set into. We'll set the spring tip in there, making sure everything sits flat. Go ahead and identify the low or the L spring tension setting on the cage. We'll line this up with the spring itself. And we're not worried about the D shape at this point. We're just gonna bring this all together and we'll go ahead and install the nut. Just using our fingers here with the tool, bringing this nice and flush. Unwind that one revolution just to give a little bit of movement room. And now we'll go ahead and we'll wind the cage around, winding the spring, and then we'll inline the D shape. When this comes around, you'll see the line on the cage lining up with the mark you made on the head. The D shape's now engaged. We can complete. Tightening the center nut in place. Should have a nice joint here. This will move with the clutch. We're now ready to go ahead and torque this center nut. And this will be torqued to six Newton meters.
Once you torque the center nut, you're now ready to reassemble the Ceramic Suite OSPW cage. We'll start with the rotation stop screw on the face side. Tighten firmly, roughly about three Newton meters. This goes into metal threads. And I'll turn over. We'll place our 15 tooth pulley on the upper etching towards the logo side. 19 tooth pulley on the lower. Place the backside cage plate in place. Do the two pulley mounting bolts. These both go to a moderate torque of one Newton meter. And then the two smaller tower bolts. These go to a light torque, 0.3 Newton meters. Check that everything spins freely. Nice motion on the derailleur. You're ready to reinstall into the bike. Now ready to go ahead and install the derailleur back onto the bike. I'll make sure there's a little grease on the derailleur threads and then tighten this back on. We'll shift back down to the bottom, reinstall the wheel, and measure and install a new chain. Starting with a new uncut chain, we want to put the bike in the smallest cog in the rear and the smallest ring up front if running two rings or just around the chain ring for a one by setup. We'll feed through the derailleur, careful to go over the tower in the middle of the derailleur cage. We'll go ahead, we want to put a slight amount of tension in the chain, and you're going to remove the length of one inner and outer set of links. So we're going to use a quick link on this chain length, we'll bring together, I'm going to take one link off and secure the chain. We'll now go ahead, run through the gears, check the upper and lower stops, and you'll be ready to go ride. We'll take a quick look at the B-limit adjustment, going from eight to 15 millimeters, depending on the cassette size, following SRAM's OEM guidelines on B-limit spacing. Make sure we're dialed in. Now completed the installation, you're ready to go ride.